After our last journey into the world of JWST and black holes, the next chapter begins. Imagine the telescope turning its powerful infrared eyes toward the depths of the cosmos and catching something extraordinary. Dormant black holes, silent and invisible for ages, suddenly flaring to life by tearing apart passing stars. These violent awakenings, long hidden from older telescopes by thick clouds of cosmic dust, have now been seen directly for the first time. And with that, an entire hidden population of black holes has stepped into view. It begins with a rare and dramatic cosmic death, what astronomers call a tidal disruption event. When a star drifts too close to a supermassive black hole, gravity rips it apart. Its remains swirl into a rapidly heating accretion disk, releasing a sudden flare of energy. Such events are rare. Until recently, only about a hundred had ever been recorded. The greatest obstacle has always been dust, blocking most of the light that optical and X-ray telescopes, even those in space, can detect. Infrared light, however, can slip through dust. That's why NASA's NEOWISE mission was such an important first step. For over a decade, it scanned the sky, and later, scientists applied algorithms to its data to search for unusual, short-lived bursts of infrared activity. These bursts appeared in otherwise quiet galaxies, hinting that dormant black holes had briefly awakened to feed on stars. From this survey, researchers selected several promising candidates. Four of the strongest were chosen for follow-up with JWST. When Webb's mid-infrared instrument observed them, the results were decisive. The telescope detected spectral fingerprints that could only come from black hole accretion, including highly ionized neon, a sign of gas heated to extreme energies, and strong silicate emissions from dust glowing in the mid-infrared. Each galaxy told its own story. One hosted the closest TDE ever confirmed, just 130 million light-years away. Another coincided with a brief X-ray flare, offering a rare multi-wavelength view. A third showed gas moving at unusually high speeds, suggesting debris orbiting close to the black hole. These became JWST's first detections of hidden tidal disruption events, opening a powerful new window into the study of black holes that usually remain invisible. The significance is profound. For the first time, scientists can directly study dormant black holes, the ones that stay silent until a star wanders too close. Active black holes, surrounded by bright, clumpy dust, are easy to find. Dormant ones are not. JWST has now shown that TDEs can act as cosmic probes into this hidden population. The dust patterns in these four galaxies were different from the torus-shaped dust seen in active systems, confirming that these black holes were not persistently active, but awakened only by the sudden arrival of stellar material. Beyond classification, these detections sharpen our understanding of how black holes interact with their surroundings. By studying the energy and timing of the infrared signals, astronomers can estimate properties like mass and spin, a larger black hole might pull in debris more slowly, while a rapidly spinning one could accelerate the process and release stronger radiation. Each TDE becomes a natural experiment, testing our astrophysical models, and the implications go beyond black holes themselves. These violent episodes can heat surrounding mass, push it outward, and even influence the birth of future stars. Recently, JWST has spotted over 300 unusually bright objects, and it feels as though this is only the beginning. Some of these newly spotted objects may be galaxies from the universe's earliest era. One of them has already been confirmed at a staggering redshift of 8.679, meaning we see it as it was just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. If more of these are confirmed, they could rewrite our understanding of how the very first galaxies came to be. The James Webb Space Telescope was built for moments like this, to catch the faintest whispers of light from the farthest reaches of the cosmos, light that has traveled for over 13 billion years to reach us. In this study, astronomers turned its gaze toward four deep sky fields, regions chosen for their emptiness, far from the glare of nearby bright stars, 
together covering about 500 square arc minutes of sky. They used two of Webb's most powerful instruments, NearCam, the near-infrared camera, and MIRI, the mid-infrared instrument. Because the universe has been expanding since its birth, the light from extremely distant galaxies has been stretched to longer wavelengths, a phenomenon called redshift. The higher the redshift, the further back in time we are looking. To find their targets, the team used the dropout technique, searching for objects that appear in redder filters but vanish in bluer ones. This happens because of the Lyman break, a sharp cutoff in a galaxy spectrum caused when neutral hydrogen absorbs ultraviolet light. In very distant galaxies, this cutoff is shifted into the infrared, making it a powerful clue for spotting high redshift candidates. Once potential galaxies were identified, the team used spectral energy distribution fitting, comparing the light across many wavelengths to theoretical galaxy models to estimate their redshifts, stellar masses, and ages. Out of 137 objects with both near and mid-infrared coverage, about two-thirds turned out to be nearer galaxies with redshifts between 1 and 4, but around 7% showed signs of being much more distant, possibly from the universe's first few hundred million years. One of these has already been confirmed at Z equals 8.679 through spectroscopy, placing it roughly 570 million years after the Big Bang. What makes these candidates so remarkable is their unexpected brightness. According to current models, early galaxies should be small and faint, slowly building mass over time through emergers and steady star formation, but these appear far more luminous than expected for their age. If many are confirmed to be truly high redshift galaxies, it would mean galaxy formation in the early universe was faster and more efficient than we thought. Perhaps they formed inside massive dark matter halos that collapsed early, pulling in vast amounts of gas and triggering intense star formation. But there are other possibilities. Some could be closer galaxies whose colors mimic those of very distant ones, dusty starburst galaxies or active galactic nuclei. Dust can make galaxies appear red in infrared images, and unusual star populations or black hole activity can do the same. This is why spectroscopy follow-up is essential. Color-based selection is efficient but not foolproof. Only spectroscopy can give a precise redshift and reveal the chemical makeup and structure of these galaxies. The next step is to confirm their nature. By splitting a galaxy's light into its component wavelengths, astronomers can read its unique fingerprints, emission and absorption lines that reveal its distance, composition, and star formation history. JWST's NIR-SPEC instrument, along with large ground-based telescopes, will be crucial for this work. Spectroscopy will show whether their brightness comes from unusually rapid star formation, the presence of active supermassive black holes, or a mix of both. If a substantial number of these 300 bright candidates are confirmed to be beyond Redshift 8, it would challenge our current timelines for galaxy formation, forcing us to rethink how quickly gas cooled, how efficiently stars formed, and how early dark matter halos grew. It could even reshape our understanding of cosmic reionization, when the first luminous sources ionized the hydrogen that once filled space. On the other hand, if most turn out to be closer galaxies, the study will still refine our detection methods, reduce false positives in future surveys, and deepen our knowledge of dusty starbursts and other lower redshift phenomena. Either way, JWST's discovery offers a rare glimpse into the dawn of galaxies, a moment when the universe was young, restless, and full of possibilities. And as each new observation peels back another layer of cosmic history, we are reminded that the story of the universe is still being written. So stay with us, because the next chapter could change everything we thought we knew about how the first light in the cosmos was born.